Good morning, parents. I'm Lieutenant Commander Morgan Fowler of Echo Company, and I'm here with Mrs. Kelly. We're going to be filming class with the fourth class cadets. It's Calculus One, which will be taught by Lieutenant Commander Mary Bender. We have a fun activity that I think you will enjoy. Lunch on deck. And carry on, guys. Thanks. Welcome to Calculus One and welcome parents. Um, we know we're having you. We have Mrs. Kelly in class. We're happy to have you today. So um, we're excited to teach you a little bit of what we learned in class. Um, and today we have a fun activity. We're going to start a new section in calculus, um, our optimization section. And we're, we're thinking about companies are constrained by a lot of money, right? We're constrained by finances, but we want to make the biggest profit. Um, if you're building a house, your constraint is that you have material, right? You're constrained by the material. You want to make the biggest house with the least amount of material. And today, I gave each of you, or you should have gotten a new and clean uh, piece of construction paper, of the color of your choice, and um, you all brought your own scissors and tape. Thank you for doing that. So we are going to have a constraint of surface area. Like right? we have this piece of construction paper, we're constrained by the surface area. But I want you to build the biggest box you can make volume-wise. So we want to make the biggest volume with our constraint of our surface area. I gave you guys some squares. If you want to use that, that would be fine just to kind of save time. Here's the thing. You need to build this volume box, and it, it can be an open top box. I made some myself just to show you. Here's different. Here's a, a box, open, open top. When you cut, though, each the cuts have to be a square. So the square has to be the same size on, on each end, okay? So that's our another constraint that we have. All right, so I gave you some different size squares. Um, you may have chosen one. That's fine. If you didn't choose one, just try to make sure that you cut a square. Um, and and uh, we'll go, we'll give you maybe about three or four minutes to put tape around it, and then I will choose a few to let's figure out which one has the most volume, and I will find out with putting rice crispies in there. So she had five cups. 
Okay, and Sarah, you had uh, four cups, right? But look, I mean, so very different boxes. Um, and we see that Sarah really kept most of the surface area of her, of her construction paper, right? Because there, there's very little that she cut off. So it's kind of interesting that you would have more volume with less um, surface area. All right, and Michael, okay, you can come up. Let's see this one. Okay, I'm calling uh, maybe. Let's see if we can even, we probably have a good two in here. Oh, okay. There's two. And what do we think? Do you think we'll get another cup in there? Half a cup, I bet. Okay, let's see. Well, yeah, I have to. So not quite three cups. Right? <laughs> it's M Y C H O L A L. Um, and that's about three cups, a little less than. Okay. And look, what happened here was he cut some large squares out, so we did have a little smaller surface area, but different. And that. Okay, and then I need one person with, that had an O cut out. Did anybody have an O? Okay, how about Lillian? Uh, and unfortunately, I did not keep these rice krispies clean, so you could not make rice krispies. Okay, this, you have the O box? Oh, wait. Maybe anybody else with not I, Well, the taping job. Well, anybody else with the oh, it's, it's okay. You did a good job. Okay, yeah. Are we to. Oh, uh, wait a second. What happened here? He kept all of his service. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, you are the winner for sure. That was very uh, ingenious of you. So, Josh Prince, er, sorry, Jake Carpenter, you win, right? Because you captured all of your service area. You can bring it up, but Colby, why don't you bring up yours? Did you have the O? <laughs> you didn't? Okay. Well, we need a good team down here. Did you have a O? Did you have a you do. Megan? Okay, you can come down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So this is, yeah, I love the he, he thought outside the box. <laughs> so good job. He kept all of his construction paper. Um, not necessarily part of the directions, but I like it, so I will give you some, uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, I like it. I'm not going to measure it just because I don't know how many, but we'll see. Okay, so here's two. We're definitely going to get that. This is Lillian. Okay. This is four.
And we see we can get very different amounts of volume from that same surface area. So that's pretty cool. And now we need to find out why is that possible. So let's look. I gave you guys a 9 by 12 um, piece of construction paper. It's in inches. 9 by 12. So let's look at volume, right? So first of all, we're restricted by the surface area. So we know the surface area, right, is what? Well, it's what? Uh, surface area is going to be 9 times 12, right? Now, so we're restricted by that. What is the volume? What is the volume of any 3D box? Length times width times height. So in our case, let's just say this is my L. But what is my L? Math. 12 minus 2L. 12, 12 minus whatever my X was, two of them. Because I have an X here and an X here. So my length is going to be 12 minus 2X. That's my volume. Okay, what's my width? What's my width? Okay, Julia. Nine, because that's my length. My total length is nine minus however much of those x's ends up being up. So nine minus two x. And then what's my height? What's the height of this? Just x, right? Because I fold it up, and now I've got that x as my height. Oh, nice. Now we have this all in terms of what? All in terms of one variable, x. And I can do some derivatives um, in, with one variable, right? All right, so if we multiply this all out, I will go ahead and erase over here. So we can keep going. All right, so if we multiply this all out, we're going to say our volume ends up equaling 108x minus 42x squared uh, plus 4x cubed. Okay? This is, this is the volume of our box. 